people do that are regarded as Naira abuse. So, in Nigeria, the clean note policy is led by the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. And it establishes precise guidelines for producing, distributing and using bank notes. This policy maintains high standards to preserve the integrity and quality of the Naira bank notes, ensuring that they are easily processed and widely accepted. Essentially, it is a proactive measure against Naira abuse, mishandling and reducing the cost associated with the damaged currency. But here is a list of things people do that are regarded as Naira abuse. 1. Counterfeiting. Counterfeiting is a grave offence against the sanctity of the Naira note as it carries severe consequences such as lengthy imprisonment. To dissuade individuals from counterfeiting currencies, tampering with Naira notes or coins is a punishable offence under the law and act section 21 those convicted of counterfeiting may face up to five years in prison without the possibility of a fine as stated in the cbn act section 20. two the facing the naira note writing drawing or stamping on the naira note is a criminal offense here in nigeria and can attract a fine of fifty thousand naira or six months imprisonment three Folding or crumpling the Naira excessively. This can cause damage to the currency, which is considered disrespectful. 4. Spraying Naira notes at social functions. It is common in Nigerian social gatherings to spray money on celebrants as a sign of honor or appreciation. However, throwing money around, especially by high income earners, constitute fiscal irresponsibility and can cause a shortage of money supply in the economy. Spraying Naira banknotes at gatherings is prohibited by the law, which is one of the reasons why Bob Risky is now in prison and Obi Kubana has been recently arrested. 5. Using the Naira notes for non-monetary activities. Using the Naira notes to play games, purchase souvenirs, or as a toy. Example, money bouquet is regarded as an abuse of the currency six stepping or standing on the naira note this is regarded as a violation of the national currency and can attract a fine or imprisonment for up to two years seven stapling and tearing of the naira note stapling bank notes tearing them or subjecting them to soiling or staining are all deemed as defacement Punishable under the law, as outlined in the CBN Act, Section 21. Any individual who tampers with or alters the Naira note or coin is in violation of the law and is subject to punishment. 8. Sale of currency. Example, money changes. Currency sale, once prevalent in informal market, is now strictly prohibited under Section 21, sub subsection 4, of the CBN Act to uphold the integrity of the nation's monetary system. Engaging in the sale, trade, or working of Naira note, coins, or any currency issued by the bank is punishable by law. 9. Mutilation. Mutilation of bank notes defined as any damage exceeding half of the original note size is considered a serious offense, whether caused by fire, flooding, deliberate tampering or natural calamities the facing banknote is seen as a threat to the nation's financial stability and is subject to penalties a person who tampers with the naira note or coin is guilty of an offense punishable by law under the section 21 of the cbn act and lastly it is against the law to reject the naira as it is clearly stated in the section 20 subsection 5 of the CBN Act. The recent effort of the CBN highlight its steadfast dedication to enforcing the principles of the clean note policy through collaborations with law enforcement agencies. Initiatives are in place to eliminate individuals engaged in illegal sale of newly redesigned bank notes and those openly violating currency regulations.